guess what happened? I need y'all to say what? Guess what happened? What? what? I don't think y'all want to know. Guess what happened? What? what? And this question is, if I were able to give you a key that would give you access to any room at any point, at any time, where would it be? Where would you go? How would you get there? These are all things. It doesn't have to be all three. It could be one of them. Um, we're going to take some time to think, and it starts now. Like I said, if I gave you a key and you had access to any room, any person even, this key could go to any person, this key could go into any lifestyle, any measure of status or success, where would you want to go? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. All right, everybody open your eyes. For those who have their eyes open, keep them open. <laughs> All right, so by any show of hands, as a matter of fact, I know how this goes. So a lot, some people may not be like, uh, I'm gonna wait till somebody else says something because I don't know what they answer gonna be. I don't know if I'm answering right. So I'll go first. So what I saw was this. When I first started um, Share the Keys, I had a dream in 2020, uh, which obviously was around the pandemic. Um, I was in my room at my parents' house, and all I had was a microphone and an iPad, uh, which I was blessed to have. Um, but through my experience, and also throughout early college experience with my middle, uh, I started to see some areas where um, mentorship or navigation was needed, right? I always saw the fact that I will always be going, taking classes, going to different places, uh, doing different assignments, right? And, but I didn't know, Percy, what do you really want to do? What is it that you really want to be? What is it that you're actually seeing? I get that you want to be in a degree. I get that you want to go into something else, but if I asked you what I just asked you, where would you want to go? All right? So now I'm opening up to you all. Where would you want to go? Where did you see yourself? Don't put your hands out too bad. All right, so I want to get to know you, right? So say your name and then say what it is. Hi, my name is Precious, and I think I would open a door to my, like, a point in the future I want to step on. So one thing that I love to do when people share their dreams and ideas is clap for them and celebrate them. So let's clap it up and celebrate them. <laughs> Thank you. Is it precious? Precious. Nice to meet you, precious. All right. We got one all the way in the back. Yes, you. Fortune 500 company. We have a we have an author in here. 
We have somebody who wants to start their own business. So what's some other things? What are some other things? I know I got two or three more. Go ahead, Lydia. Um, I would open a door to me teaching a class at Hope Hill Community College. Um, I would love to have more to dreaming. There is a seriousness that comes to the bigger picture. Can everybody say 
bigger picture. All right, now, I, I told you I'm big energy, all right? So everybody say it like you mean, say bigger picture. Bigger picture. All right, bigger picture. I heard that. All right. So like I said, it starts with, it starts with, <laughs> Mr. McDonald, class clouds. Y'all yeah, better stop our feet off of that. So, like I said, it starts with the bigger picture. That was one of the things my mentor told me while I was in my process up to being able to do this. Because what I'm doing right now, it took me three, four years to do. To actually be able to speak in front of people. Now, I've been doing this, and I've had this passion for over seven plus years. Over, over that. Like I started, I started with my interest in uh, when I was in high school. After I was, then I soon got into my fifth year, I was in young men's mental health consultant with sixth graders, where I ended up interacting with a group of young African-American males. And I went to each and every one of them. I was like, you're special. You're awesome. You're dope. You're cool. I love your jacket. I love your shirt. Like I was inspiring them and encouraging, right? Sooner than later, I went to one young man, and guess what happened? I need y'all to say what? Guess what happened? What? what? I don't think y'all want to know. Guess what happened? What, what happened? Hey, I guess so, y'all. So, what happened was, he was like, man, ain't nobody special around here. This was a poor group. <laughs> yes, City of Flint, out of school around the corner. Say ain't nobody special around here, man. Ain't nobody. No, 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 no. And his little brother was right in the room with him. Now, let me tell you something. It's actually, I know it gets in spaces of dreaming and, and talking about what you want to be. People may laugh. People may do all these other things. But long story short, they're actually the ones that want to have the courage enough to do what you're doing. I've learned that many times. So back to the point of the fact that the guy I told him that he was special, he was like, man, ain't nobody special around here, ain't nobody special around here. And why would you think, I'll ask you guys, why would you think he would say something? Why would you think? Ain't nobody special around here. Ain't no, nobody's gonna amount to success. Ain't nobody gonna amount to that. Go ahead. Because he doesn't feel special. All right, clap it up for that. What else, what else? What else, why is, why is this, what are some things that we can think about? Why would he feel this way? So, one of the things, that's actually what it was. So, it turns out that that was the ending of his story. Um, that he didn't have the type of support system that many of us are blessed with. Um, it was just him and his brother. And you guys are going to be going into different areas of interest. And when you're really hungry for it, there's literally nothing that can stop you. So after that, after taking that time, using my lunch, I, I did that for almost about two to three years, like I said. Um, and now, I've actually recently, I was talking to um, Ari, who is one of the um, one of the one of the hostess, um, Eliza and Ari. And I told her I was like, well, it's been about four to five weeks now that I have actually left the corporate world. So I technically do not work a nine to five. I have my own hours. So that means Monday through Friday, my schedule is my schedule. So that means on Thursdays and Fridays, now I work, I go to school, I go to school, I speak for 45 minutes to an hour, and then the rest of the day I do what I need to do, right? This isn't a, let's get this right, let's get this straight, right? I didn't become an entrepreneur so I can be lazy, right? Many times when we're going into things, we, oh, I wanna have that high rise building, that doesn't mean that you're not gonna have work associated with that. There's a lot of work that is associated with what you're doing. And so, what I wanna be able to give you guys is three steps, three easy steps. Everybody put up a three. Everybody put up a three easy steps. If we're shooting hoops, I put it up like this because I just shot a three in your face. So, three easy steps. The first step, and I'm a bit of an analogy person, right? So the first step, you guys are gonna look at this and be like, what the heck is that? Ugh. Ugh, that's nasty. No. So, vision. Vision. Everybody say vision. Vision. Y'all know me. Everybody say vision. Vision. All right, so vision. Vision is the ability 
to be able to see. I'm not going off of a definition from Google. I'm going off of something that I've experienced. Vision, the type of vision I'm talking about is not something me looking at your jacket and I see that it's green. The type of vision I'm talking about, what are you guys thinking about? What's the type of vision that I'm talking about? What's the type of vision? Go ahead. Being able to see what other people can't see. I like that. Cut that out. What other type of vision? Go ahead. There we go. An idea. Go ahead. Seeing a goal. Okay. So being able to see a goal. We're going to go off of that definition. Being able to see a goal. A lot of you guys, like I said, how many ninth graders are in here? How many 10th graders are in here? Woo, y'all good home. All right. How many 11th graders are in here? Okay. That, that's, y'all seem like 11th graders. Y'all kind of stick together. <laughs> we were really bang with the 10th. We was just there probably a couple weeks ago. But nah. Any 12th? Any 12th grade? 12th grade? Any bigger vision? It's like she's talking about. It's being able to see your goal. I want you guys to be able to see where you're going next. I want you guys to be intentional. Everybody say intentional. Intentional. And then everybody say next. Yes. All right, nice. See, y'all getting it now. All right, all right. So now, when you talk about being intentional, when you talk about being a piece of clay, when you talk about it all starting off as an idea, when you start about it first starting off and it doesn't have form, it doesn't have form. You're probably going to classes and you don't know what you want to do. You're probably going out and you're probably searching on TikTok. You're probably searching on YouTube. You're like, man, asking friends. Well, I don't know what I want to be yet. Sometimes I even have friends who are 50 years who are like, dog, I don't know what I want to be yet. And many times people think that it's so easy to just come from a vision to have an idea and to get to a plan when that's not the reality. Some of us in here, by show of hands, of course, being comfortable, because I know many times this is also a safe space, but who knows what they want to be by show of hands? Then there's hands in here. Does that make them less? No. Should they feel less value? No. Because at any point, at any point, a plan does not have to have a time. It doesn't have a special arrival. It doesn't have, you don't get a diploma and be like, oh yeah, here's your plan. That's not what happens after graduation. Oh, congrats, you succeeded. Congrats, you, here's your plan now, go. Because when we get out of college, a lot of people nowadays are like, man, what are we gonna do? I spent my life pursuing a degree that I didn't even know what I really wanted. So the main factor is, is that when you're going towards school, when you're going into education, when you're going through this process of careers, of life, of all these things that you personally want to pursue, it all starts with, one, you have to see it. Everybody say, see it. See it. And many times, many times, it helps people to be, um, it helps them to be visual. So if it helps you, I, I do this. You have to see it, so everybody do this. I have to see it, say see it. Yeah. All right, so now we're going into plan. So the planning takes place when you talk about how, how am I, it's your what, your when, your how, and why, right? So I'm gonna pick on somebody. See, somebody just, I heard some, uh, them seats got tight. I don't know what happened, clinch. But, um, <laughs> clinch, that's what happened, I, I swear, I, I swear that happened. But, uh, I'll go <laughs> All right, so what is it that you want to be? You want to be a criminal investigator. Can we clap up for that? <laughs> so, clap up for that school. And I'm going to stop you right there because a lot, a lot of times in the grant, I graduated two years ago from college, right? So, with, with my bachelor's. And college, um, who knows 
why they love their career or why they love what they're pursuing. What's one of the reasons why you love it? What's one of the reasons? A lot of you want to do. So that doesn't put you in a place of, I'll say obscurity. It doesn't put you in a place where you're in a, it, it's weird or you're an outlier. I want to tell you that you're actually exempt. Dipped off to something else. I was at Northwood for you. Dipped off to something else. I'm doing shared keys right now, but my interests are so right now, just because you don't know, it just means that it's time to be open and to learn. So constantly be open. Because when the timing is right, your dream, I promise you, will follow you. All right? You got it? Yeah. All right, cool. Now, go ahead. You got your uh, I chose my, I chose my, I chose my field because I want to make enough money so I can support my family and my family for taking care of me. Mm -hmm. Now, this is my thing. So, this, I'm, I'm actually doing kind of a little bit of research, and also I want to be good on time. Yes, so I actually got a couple minutes. So, how many people, this is my last question, how many people want to be, well, how many people are doing what they do or are pursuing their career because they want to be able to help their family in return? Because a lot of times it's almost like for elementary students it's almost 99.9%. How many people love what you do right now? How many people love what you do? Ooh, now this is interesting. Well, now, now let me be more clear. Let me be more clear. How many people love what they are pursuing in school right now? Oh, you got to talk about stuff. <laughs> They go hollow. Uh, so that's interesting. Because when y'all just raised your hands, everybody said they knew what they wanted to be. But if you know, so that means there's a difference there. There's a difference between I know what I want to be and I'm doing what I want to do or I'm doing what I love to do. There's a total difference. And this is what happens when you're in school. Sometimes they paint two pictures, that you have to go, to go to school to get this. And then when you're out of school, you have to get this. You have to be a YouTuber on this side, and then you gotta go to a nine to five to do your work. This is the picture I really wanna mold and shape for you guys, as far as building a plan, which is, is that you don't have to live two different lifestyles. Because the interests and values and the morale and the things that you're feeling are all indulged in one. I'm telling you, when I wanted to play basketball earlier on when I was in high school, the one thing that I realized, I was like, oh my gosh, I love hooping, I love playing basketball, but the one thing that I also loved was relationships. I love the relationship and teamwork of me, and I love that. That's why I, that's why I have my program in, I talk with them and I engage with them, mentor them, all these other things. I feel that school is the only way or only place that we Right? We sometimes feel that just because this is the environment, I get to sit down, I bring my book bag, I have my friends, I have my books, I have my things. Why can't you study at home? I know it's a different word, we call it homework, but to me, right now, what I'm doing is considered homework, constantly researching, constantly getting familiar with what I want to do, constantly being indulged, I'm indulging what I want to be. So I want you guys to be able to say, um, I will be careful. Say, I will be careful. I will be careful. I will, oh, shoot, see y'all coming down. Say, I will be careful. I will be careful. Of what I see. Of what I see. I will be intentional. I will be intentional. Of what I do. Of what I do. Now, when you put an assignment and when you put some intention behind what you do, now, you're not just going to 
Now you're not just going to do work. Now what you want to do. And some people are asking, person, what type of job description is that? What type of career is that? I made it. I created my own job description. I created my own. Because the one thing that you guys will soon understand is that not everything that you pursue, not everything that you are going after is always going to have a resume behind you, right? Mm -hmm. So not everything you do is going to have to have some type of record. Now, you will have to have some type of reputation to be able to prove the measure of success that you're at. But the main thing that you guys just talked about, and first of all, it's super dope how you guys are be willing and being able to. So it's super dope how you guys are willing to be vulnerable enough to share what you want to do. And so with that being said, hey! all right, so I know I kind of got your brains going, I kind of got your brains thinking, or I may just sleep. <laughs> oh, that is. That's what makes you guys know. So the one thing, the three things that we talked about, what's the first thing? What's the first thing you need to do? Everybody say this one. Vision. What's the second thing? Vision. All right, this last thing is, is to be able to believe. The reason why you need all three is because one, you need to be able to see it. You need to be able to see it. Two, you need to be able to build it, plan. You need to be able to build it once you see it. The last thing is, is that it's going to keep you going. It's going to keep you going. It's constantly. This picture is what I start off with. My the plan, the one school. Outside of that, I had to make connections and make them. It's not going to be easy, it's going to be a lot of work, but the work that you're doing, you're doing it. You're not doing it. And the last thing is, is being able to believe. Because when your heart's involved, that means it doesn't matter, no matter how high the building is that skylines for that porch party. It doesn't matter how many islands you may have or a private island or a private jet or many things that you may encompass. The one thing that you all need to continue to keep doing while you're in your career experience is to believe. Everybody say believe. 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 All right, thank you so much. I know I kind of went over my time. Over okay. three minutes, but thank you guys so much. that you guys can be able to contact me. Anything else, make sure I am on YouTube.